Good morning, everyone. And a very happy Memorial Day to you. John's gospel is one of my favorites. His is, how do I describe his? His, I guess you could call it a high level theology and it, it focuses on Jesus's divinity descending into the human race. And it's, there's beauty in it. The way that he describes scenes, the way that he talks literally about himself in third person so that each and every one of us can enter into that, that, that person of the most beloved disciple. And today's excerpt is no exception. Christ says, woman, behold your son. At this moment, Christ reveals his final plan for Mary and our relationship with her. By calling her woman, Christ links Mary to the first woman, Eve, and effectively replaces her. Mary is now the new Eve, the new mother of all humanity, our mother. John at the foot of the cross represents every disciple of Christ. And the words that Christ tells to John, to each of us, is simple. Behold your mother. My brothers and sister, sisters, Mary with these words has become the mother of the entire church, of all the people of God, of Christians everywhere. She is our mother. Throughout the history of Christianity, people have turned to Mary for her intercession. And we too can turn to her today, asking for her prayers on our behalf, asking that she intercede for us, that she talk to her son for us. You know, we Catholics get a lot of grief from our separated brothers and sisters in Christ saying, oh, you honor and respect and venerate Mary way too much. You spend too much time thinking and talking about Mary. But honestly, I can't imagine for a second there is any way that any one of us can love Mary any more than Christ did. Her own son, our God, loved his mother beyond all telling. And so we have nothing to fear. We can show honor to Mary, we can love her, we can venerate her, we can pray to her, asking for her intercession. But most importantly, the most important thing she does and that she has done, she did in her entire earthly life and even now in her heavenly life, she points the way to Christ, back to her divine son. And so this is our prayer today, since she is the mother of the church and this is what we celebrate today, is that we pray asking that she leads us closer to Christ. This is the most important prayer we can do with Mary. The most important thing we can ask her is that she draws us closer into her divine son.